All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Chakodash, which Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and the Chakodash, that is the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. And uh, I just want to uh, get into a lesson. Um, wasn't able to make it to class today with the brothers, had some stuff going on, had a lot of work to do, and, um, um, you know, the Spirit still said, you know, to do a lesson, and, uh, I've been wanting to do an open form prophecy, uh, lesson for the past few days, since so much is going on, all right, you know, you see, you know, a lot of things happening, of course, you got, um, I'll say this, the, uh, even though that port strike ended up, um, being halted all right but you had that situation occurred all right and um the uh, scripture which lord willing i'll get in a little bit um it reminds me of when it when, when they say uh, uh when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction shall come all right even though everything's a-okay now everything's getting pushed back all right eventually at some point look those uh, 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 uh um those you know strikes i guess you could say the uh uh um you know the uh, the the goods are going to eventually stop coming into America, all right? You know, because there has to be a famine. You know, the, the the scriptures say in the book of Isaiah, what the vintage shall fail, right? Meaning the goods, so that has to occur. You see, but you got you know that whole situation happening. Of course, you have um, uh, you know the 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 whole, you know conflict between israel and iran happening now all right you you have all these false prophets you know uh, uh, arising you you have natural disasters you see a lot of things are happening but i'll say this you know uh, as the scriptures say you know these are just what the beginning of sorrows though all right because look before this place gets completely destroyed the one thing that has to be pushed to, to the to the entire world is you know the MOTB all right that has to uh, uh occur that prophecy must take place all right before the uh, absolute destruction of America you see all right so I'll say this now of course you know the you know it, it's beautiful and it, it, you know that all these things are happening all right gets you happy and joyous all right, but look, the end is not yet. All right. There's still a lot that needs to happen. A lot of things have to occur, you know, uh, before the end really hits. You see? But let's uh, get this. Uh, this is Matthew 24, and I'll start at 4. And it reads here, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am... Uh, the anointed, or I am anointed, because that word really, uh, 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 Christ goes into uh, Mashiach, which means uh, uh, being anointed. So I'll say this, you actually have some people that will say that, they're, you know, that they're the Messiah, that they're JC, right? You know, you have a lot of bug outs like that. But I will also say this, you have a lot of these Israelites saying that they got the truth when they really don't, okay? And, and, and they're being exposed right now. You know, you see IUIC, uh, 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 you know, constantly getting, you know, exposed for their BS. You you got, uh, um, you know, guys, you know, such as, you know, uh, the Sakari, you know, Deacon Akka, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the Hassad, all right? You know, so on and so forth. You know, I, I call them the New Covenant Gang. You know, they say that they're Israelites, but really these guys are a bunch of bug outs, man. All right? They're a bunch of false prophets. You see? And it says here, and shall deceive many, which they do. Look at IUIC's following, ISUPK's, Sakari's, so on and so forth. They got a lot of people, you know, uh, uh, tricked. But, uh, but as the uh, 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 scriptures say, uh, I believe it's in Job, if I'm not mistaken, it says the deceived and the deceiver are his. Really, uh, Yahweh Bashim al Shai got all these guys in a trick bag, you know? Every single one of them. 
And eventually, hey, they're going to get put to death, man. You know, but right now, they're, you know, we're, I'll say this, we're in the, uh, um, the phase where these guys have to get heavily exposed, all right? So people know that they, these aren't the real men of the Lord. You see? Just like Esau, man, you know? He's being made bare, and all his minions too, man. Okay? Let me keep reading. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And that's what we see right now. Okay? All this conflict worldwide. You know, you, you got, like I said, the main uh, uh, um, topic right now is what's going on out there in the state of Israel. You know? You got I Israel... You know, uh, uh, they, you know, they they had their attacks on you know uh, 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 Hezbollah, all right, and vice versa. You know, Iran's you know uh, getting involved. Then eventually, you know, uh, we know that because it says what. Let me get this. Uh, um, let me see if this is how it's worded. It says like the least of the flock shall uh, draw them out. All right, yep, let me get this. This is uh, Jeremiah 49 and 20. It says here, Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh, that he had taken against Edom and his purposes, that he had uh, purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. It says, Surely the least of the flock, meaning those Amalekites, okay, hey, those small headers, eh, 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 as we call them, all right, shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolation with them. The point being, though, why I brought that out is surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. And that's uh, the, the, these uh, uh, Amalekites are pulling everybody into World War III because eventually what's going to happen is these Israelis are going to attack, you know, uh, 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 Iran at some point. All right. And then who backs up Iran? Russia. And then when Russia gets involved, the United States is, is going to step in. And then all these, um, you know, uh, people who are allies of these great superpowers, they're eventually going to have to, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, get into the battle. Okay, you see. And it's just going to be World War Three. All right, let me get that real quick. Because the scriptures say in um. The book of Revelation, it says right here, I'm going to get both of them. This is uh, Revelation 9 and 12. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And that's talking about those world wars, okay? You see, that, that's good. that has to come to pass as well, you know? All these things have to uh, happen before Yahweh Shai's return. Okay? Hey, but that main thing, you know, that, that has to be, you know, uh, uh, implemented throughout the four corners of the world is the, the, the RFID microchip. Okay? The mark of the beast. You know? And I'll say this. That, 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 um... That, that technology isn't mainstream yet, okay? All right, because if you ask a lot of these, um, you know, commoners out here about the chip, a lot of them have no clue what you're talking about. Or if they do, they, they, they just think it's something that's going to be in, in the future, you know, or something out of a sci-fi movie. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these people have no clue, you know, what it is. You know, I was talking to the brother Koala about it out here in Chicago. And he, you know, he he has a um, uh, um, the chip sign basically, and he says, you know, people you know, look at him like he's got three heads, you know. No one knows what it is, but eventually, at some point, it's going to be mainstream. They're going to push it. And look, once you, I'll say this: once your favorite celebrities, all right, start you know endorsing it, start you know pushing it out there. Oh, it, it, it's coming quick, then, man. Okay, you see. But these things aren't really here yet. So we still got some time in this place. I don't know how long. But we, you know, we still got a little bit of time. We got to keep pushing though. Alright. 
But I'll say this, things are happening, things are moving quickly, okay? But you got to remember we're on the Lord's time, all right? So the Lord's time, it, it, it's, you know, it, it's longer to us. You know, it may take a year or two years, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But that's still, you know, that's still fast, though. You see? But in the meantime, hey, let, let's continue to get ourselves together, all right? Hey, we we want to be uh, 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 spiritually prepared to the best of our ability, okay? All right? Because, hey, when, when, once this stuff hits, hey, it hits, man. That's it. That's, hey, hey, hey you know, all the... <laughs> I'll say this, you know, uh, all the works you put in, that that's it, you know, they're, 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 you can you can do no more. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the time is now. All right, that oil, that that wisdom, knowledge, understanding that you have, whatever you got, that's what you have when that day comes. You can't collect more. You see? Hey, so we hey, we, we got to seek the Lord while He may be found. We really got to get ourselves, you know, uh, together. Before the day, before the shit hits the fan, okay. But let's keep reading. This is uh, Matthew twenty four and uh, six, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay, it says for nation shall rise against nation. All right, and that actually goes into uh, uh, ethnic groups. All right, eventually there's going to be you know race wars out here, you know. And America is very divided, especially, you know, I'll say this, hey, these, um, you know, all American, you know, you know, you know, Edomites, those constitutionalists, all right, they're, they're starting to see, you know, their white privilege, you know, uh, you know, a uh, uh, slip, man. You know, they're losing, they, you know, houses, marriages, you know, uh, uh you know, uh, you know, you gotta remember how these Edomites live. You know, they they had got you know uh, summer homes, you know, boats, all right, so on and so forth. They these things are, are are slipping, man. You know, from their hands, okay. And they see all these other um, nations, you know, coming in, and, and, and uh, uh, basically, you know, uh, um, you know, snatching things up, so to speak. You know, they see all these East Indians coming in, Chinese, Arabs, all right, these these, these Latin tribes. And, there's, and I'll say these other nations are starting to do good now, and that's making them mad. So eventually, hey, there's going to be an all-out, you know, a war. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, when things get, uh, 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 you know, serious, all right, you know, you, you, you'll see how quick people run, run back and, you know, uh, 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 you know, you know, click up with their their own uh, 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 their own kind. All right, but let me keep reading. It says, uh, "And kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places." And like I said, eventually, look, hey, those famines will hit. You know, even though this whole situation with you know these um these uh, uh, uh um you know at these ports. You know, we you know with we, with the uh, you know with all those workers going on strike, even though it's come to a halt and they're you know pushing everything back, all right. Like I said, eventually famines will hit. You know, it, it, look, because look, the scriptures talk about how there's going to be no work for Egypt. If there's going to be no work, that means goods aren't going to be you know circulating. You know as well, and that's going to create you know uh, these famines. And best believe these famines. Are um are definitely or, or, or orchestrated, cause look, all, the, the elites they they own all the unions, man. All right, the elites own all the uh, um you know all these companies. All right, all, all 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 these you know shipping companies. They own all the docks. Even if it's I'll say this, even though it might not necessarily be in their name, they got everybody in their pocket. Okay. All they gotta do is make a couple phone calls to whomever, and get you know the you know the, the the ball moving. All right. You see? Doesn't it, look? It doesn't take you know that long to shut you know America down. 
All right. Hey, but I'll say this. Hey, once those famines hit, these people are about to bug out and lose their mind. You know? Because these people, they, they can't survive a day without eating. And these people, man, it's not even just food that they need. These people need cigarettes, weed, fentanyl, all right, whatever prescription drugs they're on, all these antidepressants. You know what I'm saying? They need the liquor. They don't get this. They're going to bug out. They need social media. You see? And that's going to create, a, you know, all, all this chaos. And that's when you're going to see all, all, all this fighting, all right? You know, between people in this nation. All right? But uh, I'm going to read it again. It says, and there shall be famines and pestilence, which goes into diseases. All right? We know a... The CDC and whatever, you know, uh, 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 um, you know, facilities that are out there, they got all these diseases, man, just waiting to be unleashed. It says an earthquakes and in, 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 in Salaki and earthquakes in the diverse places, and all these are the beginnings of sorrows. You see, these are just the beginnings of sorrows. This is this is uh, isn't the end. All right, it's gonna get you know uh, worse. You know, look, all these robberies that you see, this is just the beginning because they, they're doing it in the green tree. So how much more when, when they really got to, um, uh, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, survive out here. Look, you're going to see more kidnappings, more home invasions. All right. More human trafficking. More murders. You know, more, more, more assaults. You're going to keep seeing that. Like even out here in, in Chicago. This morning, somebody got shot on the, on the expressway, died. One person, who knows what, what they're on half the time, got on uh, on Lakeshore Drive, which is basically uh, like, like a highway out here in Chicago. All right. They got on the wrong, you know, ramp, going the, uh, uh, the wrong direction. Okay. Ended up, you know, crashing. I don't know if people died, but I know people were fatally injured. Or not fatally, but they were critically injured. Okay? These people are bugged out out here. People getting stabbed and shot on the trains. This is a common, you know, thing every morning. Uh, you know, I turn on the news. You know, for my, my, the main reason why I'm turning on the news is actually to hear, you know, uh, the traffic report. That's the main thing I got to listen to. But then I hear all these other things, and I'm like, God damn, man. This all happened a few hours ago. This is the start of the morning. Like I said, this is this is a common you know, thing now. But it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. And good. Because, hey, you know, let me get this now that I mentioned it. Because before um, we get into the kingdom, this place has to be utterly destroyed, all right? This is uh, 2 Ezra 4 and 26. Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel, for the world hasteneth fast to pass away. All right, and this present uh, you know, evil world is passing away very, very fast. All right, and good. Because hey, what is the scripture saying in Ecclesiastes? Uh, a better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Hey, we're living in beautiful times. This is the end of America. The end of Esau's, you know, reign. Good. Why do they want to stay in this place anymore? Every day you got to go to work. You know? Your food is poisoned. The air is polluted. You got, you know, uh, uh, you know, let's say if you have children, they got to go to school. And, and you know, who knows, you know, what kind of people they're around. You just got to pray to the Lord that they're safe. You know what I'm saying? Then you always got to check up on them. See, we don't have to worry about that in the kingdom, you know? I always, you know, ask my kids, you know, is, there, is anybody messing with you? Did anybody touch you? I'll ask them that, you know, periodically. Because you never know, man. And it ain't just the men, too. So a lot of these these females are doing that to these children. Look at all these uh, uh, teachers 
that are getting uh, 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 caught, you know, having sexual, you know, intercourse with their students. They're all, they're, and they're all women. I don't care if they're old or young. Because you have some, you know, 25-year-old, you know, get, getting on, uh, you know, uh, one of these, you know, uh, the, the, you know, these kids. 23 or 24 year old. You know what I'm saying? It's a demonic place that we live in. This place got to be destroyed, man. You know? Hey, oh man. So, like I said, this is just a couple things that come to mind. Why do you, why would you want to stay in this place? Your woman's, you know, you, you didn't meet her as a, a virgin. You know what I'm saying? She's already been used. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this place is it's terrible. This is why we need the kingdom. Then you got to you deal with these mental uh, demons in your mind. You got to combat that. Fight the flesh nonstop. It, 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 it's very tiring. We need the kingdom, man. So we can be saved, you know, from, from everything. That's why we got to keep sighing and crying, all right? To you, how about Shimmy Shai? Every day to get us out of here. You know? But let me keep reading. It says, um, back in 2 Ezra 4 and 27, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come, for this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. But as concerning the things whereof thou asked me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown. But the destruction thereof is not yet come. Okay, and we 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 see it, the evil sowing. The alphabet communities everywhere. Feminism. Unruly children. All right. Democracy. Unrighteous, you know, uh, decrees meaning laws. Oppression. Taxes. Okay. This is what's out here. Diseases. <laughs> okay, got people got STDs. And that's on the rise too. And the reason hey, I'll say this, you know, just a little side note: the Lord's punishing these little these freaks and creeps out here, man. So all these people want to do is get into these weird orgies and gangbangs, okay? A lot of adultery is going on. A lot of these people are into, you know, homosexual activities. And, and I'll say this, yeah, yeah, a lot of these guys are into bisexual, you know, uh, uh, you know, freakism. A lot of these women are into this bisexual freakism. And then, and then what's, hey, what's getting so crazy out here? A lot of these people are getting freaky with animals too, man. With dogs, cats, sheep, pigs. I'm not joking either, man. This is what's really going on out here. America is full of creeps and freaks, man. That's why it's got to be destroyed. Let me keep reading. It says, "If therefore, this is 2 Ezra 4 and 29. If therefore... That which is sown be not turned upside down. And if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. You see, this place got to be utterly destroyed before any good could come. And this is what we're waiting for. And it's so beautiful because the Lord is showing us the, 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 the signs. Things are happening. But we just got to be patient. That's the main thing. To be patient, because we don't know, all right, when when Yahweh is going to send Yahweh Shai back. Now we know it's close, okay. All right, we know it's close, but it you know, like I said, it may it take some time because, like I said, this has to happen. This is the main focus, all right. E everybody that calls themselves a prophet needs to be focused on this particular prophecy. All right, I'm going to get it. This is Revelation chapter 13. Okay, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to read up. 
A little bit above it though. I'm going to get Revelation 13. I'm going to start at 11. Main point is in 16 and 17 of course. But I want to get thir uh, 11 though. This is Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he, and he spake as a dragon. All right, And those two horns all right, represent the two political parties. Okay, and in this time period, you have what the Republicans, and the Democrats. Okay, and every time you hear them, you know, in their debates and when they're, um, you know, uh, making these speeches, right? You know, they sound, you know, peaceful, they sound promising. All right, they, 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 they sound like a good guy, right? But really. When you look into their, you know, their actions, what they're, you know, signing into law, you know, what they're really about, or when you really, you know, um, read, you know, uh, between the lines, hey, these people are, are are deadly, okay? That's why it says what the, the two, he had two horns like a lamb, and that lamb, like I said, represents what, you know, being that that, that peaceful creature, but really in reality, they're what. And it says here, he spake as a dragon. And the dragon's a ferocious, you know, a, a, a creature. All right? You know, everyone knows that. You know? You see? Let's keep reading. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly womb was healed. And basically, that's going into how America, all right, you know, came... Out of a uh, 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 out of a uh, uh, Rome, okay, you know this is a uh, Rome 2.0, and they practice all, you know, the, the the same you know things basically, all right, you know out here they they, they push what, uh, 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 um, Latin, okay, they push um, Salakia. My bad. I um, got a text in, but um, um, basically, uh, they 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 push, you know, Latin. All right, you know, they they push, uh, um, basically that Roman architecture. You see, they even uh, in a lot of uh, schools, they they have classes that are geared towards just specifically Greek mythology. I remember a high school that I went to, and that was actually uh, uh, one of the courses for one of the semesters. Just strictly Greek mythology, you know, which basically Greek uh, 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 mythology, you know, and Roman mythology are the same thing. You know, point being, though, they push that. I remember that to this day. OK, you see. Let's keep reading. This is a uh, Revelation 13 and 13. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the. It's like he, he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. All right, and that's going into when they, you know, drop those atomic bombs. And then eventually they're going to do what? Drop they, those thermonuclear missiles, man, which is a far greater, uh, um, you know, a uh, 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 bomb or fire, right? Than the atomic, you know, uh, bomb. Far greater. And those atomic bombs were super destructive. So how much more these thermonuclear missiles, man? All right. And this is why a, a, a people should be afraid. Hey, cause they, the Lord is, as the scriptures say, he's, a uh, um, he's, a uh, uh, basically sh sharpening that sword. All right. You know, he, 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 he the Lord sharpening that sword and, and that sword is, a uh, 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 Esau, you know, yeah, he, he's going to get basically give it to the, uh, into the hands of the slayer. I think that's in the book of Ezekiel. I know I'm butchering it a little bit. All right, but point being though is a, 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 the Lord has given this um, technology to Esau to use it to really be, really to be that tool. All right, that the Lord's going to use to punish the people. You see, there's going to be a great destruction in this world. The slain of the Lord shall be many. You know what I'm saying? Got you got you got all this you know, all these missiles that are gonna drop. All this warfare, you're gonna and then of course ultimately you're gonna have Yahweh Shai come back. 
telling you, man, it's, we want to be on the, the good side of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh when this stuff occurs. That's why we got to a, a really get ourselves together, you know? Because I'll even say this, you know, you know, I know it's exciting when you hear, the, the, you know, all this news happen. Like I said, these things with the ports, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're, you know, just waiting for, you know, that big event to happen so all hell can break loose. But I'll say this, you know, when, uh, cause like I said, they, you know, they pulled back on it. They said, you know, Hey, you know, we're going to, um, we're going to, you know, continue work. And I believe they said, uh, uh, January is when, um, if they don't, you know, make a deal, right. That's when the strikes are going to happen again. But I'll say this, you know, when, when, you know, when situations like that happen, that means we got more time to prep ourselves. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Spiritually speaking. And we need it. Okay? Because we all have uh, flaws in us. You know, we all have character flaws. We need to get better. You know what I'm saying? We need to continue to put more work so the Lord can can, can uh, um, accept our sacrifices. You see what I'm saying? So it's, a, it's, a, it's actually a good thing you know, that we do got a little bit of, uh, of time, so to speak. Now, of course, we want to hasten the day. Don't get me wrong, because I don't want to, you know, uh, 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 you know, people to get the wrong impression of what I'm saying. All right. But I'll say this. Take advantage of that extra time. All right. That the Lord's given us, you know, just want to, you know, you know, uh, 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 clarify that and put that out there. So lucky if it sounded a little bugged out, you know. But uh, this is back in Revelation 13 and uh, and 14 now. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of men. All right. And, they, and this guy is going to come with a lot of left-handed uh, uh, magic, man. You know, through his technology. Because that chip, man, that's going to do great wonders, man. I'm they, Look, the... the I've been seeing a lot of uh, 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 you know video clips, a lot of you know a lot of news articles with this chip, and this stuff is getting to the point where it, it, it it's literally destroying cancer cells, man. All right, you know this nanotechnology, right? It's, it's destroying these you know uh, 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 cancer cells. It's allowing you know people who are blind to start seeing. All right, and people that have um that 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 are uh, uh uh let's say you know like an amputee right, and they you know get that um you know uh the, those prosthetic arms right. If that thing is mechanical, and you put a chip in somebody's brain, those that that chip can link up with that that prosthetic arm. In 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 whatever that that person's thinking, right? You know, oh, I I need my arm to you know. Uh, uh, to move to the right or to the left, it'll do it. Or I need to, uh, you know, uh, make a fist, it'll do it. We're in that time period, man. Then, you know, these people are going to take it too because, look, I mean, we've, we, we've seen it. All these different, you know, banks, different credit card, uh, 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 um, you know, companies, they keep getting hacked. All right? Their systems, you know, keep failing. And you see, what they're going to do is eventually say, look, we have a device here that, that is, uh, um, that, you know, we have a device here that everyone needs to take. And it's going to have everything on there, all your information. Look, it's going to have your banking information so no one can hack into your stuff. Oh, we know that you're an actual citizen of the United States. Because mind you, they're purposely letting all these uh, migrants come in. And we're not just talking about these Venezuelans, all right, the Haitians, because they always love to put Jake, all right, as the face of evil. But look, man, you have a, a the, the majority of the migrants that are coming in are actually Chinese, East Indian, you know, Arab, you know, from, you know, uh, let's say like Syria, all right, Iraq. You got, you know, these Sudanese coming in, so on and so forth. And, and, and look, man, when the time comes... There's going to be all, you know, all this chaos happening. You know, you're going to have a, 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 an attack, you know, from the inside, so to speak. Right. And, and they're going to say, look, we don't know, you know, who's who. So here's this. Here's your identification. 
It's, it's on this chip. You know what I'm saying? It's going to have your medical records. All sorts of things on that damn thing. Probably have Wi-Fi on it too. You got to remember too, man. They got <laughs> all these companies, right? You know, these uh, uh, glasses, you know, these uh, glass, glass, you know, for your glasses and all that. They're, they're, uh, um, they got all these, uh, 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 um, I don't even know what you want to call it, but smart glasses for lack of words. All right. Out there right now. Ray-Ban has them. All right. I just seen the uh, contacts that, that, that are like bionic, you know, contacts. This stuff is all bugged out, man. See, he saw it is, is pushing that transhumanism. Those are those miracles. And it's deceiving these people out here. You see? That's all that left-handed magic, man. Because they, it's, it's, it's making these people bow down, all right, to, to the beast. They're saying that basically Esau is better than the Most High. That's, that's how they, they, they feel right now. All right? Let me keep reading. Back in Revelation chapter 13, um, verse 14. And deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And the image is not just, like, it's not talking about, you know, white Jesus, all right? You know, white JC. No, I was talking about the ideologies and philosophies of this place. If you don't accept what this place pushes, all right? They're eventually going to put you to death. Right now, what they'll do is um, they'll, uh, you know, ban you from, you know, certain platforms, right? Let's say if, you're, you know, you're popular on YouTube or, you know, you know, Instagram, whatever, right? Twitch, you know, if they catch you in a scandal, you know, that they'll uh, remove you, okay? You know what I'm saying? It's basically that, uh, uh, that, that, that uh, what do they call it, that social credit. You know, people will boycott you, right? But eventually, you know, it's going to it's gonna surpass that. It's going to get to a point where are you going to bow down, take this chip, accept this system? Or if you don't do that, hey, we're going to put you to death. See? Let me keep reading. And it says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast... Should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused it, and that word caused it in the Greek is pieo. And it means basically form, fashion, and construct. All right. Which pretty much means this guy has, you know, pre planned these things. Okay. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand. Or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, and that's how we know that this RFID chip is the mark of the beast because you, in order to get it, you have to have it, you know, um, inserted into your flesh, and it's going to be the new form of currency. And right now, everything is turning digital, anyways. You know, paper currency is. It, it's it's pretty much done. All right. There's only like 10% of, of, of the world's currency in actual physical form now. Everything's digital. You know, everything's either on your debit card. All right. Or, or, or it's on, you know, you know, on your phone through like, you know, Apple Pay, you know, uh, what is it? Android Pay, you know. It's rare when you, you know. Somebody, you know, uses cash anymore. And a lot of places, they don't even accept it. That That's out the picture. You see? They're, they're getting everybody, you know, um, um, you know, geared towards, the, you know, th this way of uh, of living. All right? Th this, new, th this new age, this new era. You see? But it, like I said, all these things are coming, man. You know? It's, it's coming down the pipeline. You know, all these these little events that we see. You know, a little thing here, a little thing there. This is ultimately leading to, to, that, uh, to that right there, what we just read. You know? 
And we just got to wait and be patient. And, and, and who knows when it's going to come. But and we just hope that, 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 you know, we're on our watch and that we're ready. Okay? Scriptures talk about watching and praying. That's what we need to be doing. You know, constantly praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and, and watching things that you know, you know that, that that's happening in the world. So we so so we know what, what time you know period that we're living in. Okay. All right, hey, but you know that's pretty much it. Just wanted to do a quick lesson because, like I said, I wasn't able to make it to class. Just wanted to you know touch on a couple things. You know, hopefully you know it was edifying. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory and to you. How about Shemel Shai? All right. Um, also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all your brothers out there. You know, Shalom.